Hello, this is Dr. Eric Bricker, and thank you for watching A Healthcare Z. Today we're going to be discussing the largest hospital systems in the U.S. And this is super important because in healthcare finance, at a basic level, we just need to know who the players are. And when it comes to large healthcare systems in America, we need to know who those players are. So, what I've listed here is the five largest healthcare systems in the United States in descending order by the number of beds that they have. Now, it doesn't perfectly correlate with their revenue, but we've got a lot of statistics to go over here, so have a seat. All right. First up is Dignity Healthcare and Catholic Health Initiatives, which recently merged within the past year, and they actually just sort of announced their new name, which is referred to as Common Spirit. Now, this is a not-for-profit a hospital system. It has approximately 23,000 beds across all of their hospitals. Now they have 30 billion in revenue. Because they're a not-for-profit hospital, they're not listed on the Fortune 500, right? But if they were, they would be bigger than Macy's, they would be bigger than Starbucks, ironically, they would be bigger than Philip Morris, the cigarette maker. So this is a huge organization. Now, next up is Universal Health Services, or UHS. Now, this is a for-profit company. It is traded, uh, it is publicly traded. They have about 23.3 thousand beds, so about essentially the same size as uh, Common Spirit. Now, they have 10.8 billion in revenue, so you can see they have a lot less in revenue. They actually are number 293 on the Fortune 500. They're about the same size as eBay. Okay. Number three is Community Health Systems, or CHS. It is for profit. You can buy their stock. It's on the stock exchange. They have about 24,000.7 beds, for, uh, and they have 14 billion in revenue. They are number 223 on the Fortune 500, and they are the same uh, size as BlackRock, the huge investment firm. They're the same size as CBS, the massive media company. Okay, next up is Ascension. Now, Ascension uh, is not-for-profit, okay, similar to Common Spirit. They have 25,700 uh, beds. They have 25 billion in revenue, again, because they're not-for-profit, they're not on the Fortune 500, but if they were, they would be larger than the, manuf than the pharmaceutical manufacturer Eli Lilly. They would be larger than Southwest Airlines. Okay, and then finally, the biggest of the big is HCA, Hospital Corporation of America, which is for profit. It's publicly traded. It's been around for forever. I'm sure you've heard of them before. And look how much bigger they are. They have 46,000 beds compared to the 25,000 beds of Ascension. So it is a behemoth. They have 46 billion in revenue. Look at that. They're Fortune 100. They're 67 on the Fortune 500 list. And look at this. Ironically, they're about the same size as Cigna. So, and Cigna is like the smallest insurance carrier. Look, so, so of all the insurance carriers, major insurance carriers, the largest hospital system is about the same size as like the smallest insurance carrier. It's also about the same size as American Airlines, which is like one of the largest airlines, not only in America, but like in the world. So my point here is that these hospitals, and this is only the top five, like we could keep going. Okay, so like, well, who's not on this list? Well, there are hospitals that make comparable amounts of revenue, but just have fewer beds. Okay, so like partners in Boston, which is like the Harvard system, they have 12 billion in revenue. The Cleveland Clinic has 9 billion in revenue. The Mayo Clinic has 12 billion in revenue. And Hopkins has 6.2 billion in revenue. And you can talk about Norwell in New York City. You can talk about uh, New York Presbyterian and all these places have billions of dollars of revenue. So these are massive organizations. Now, do you hear about them on CNBC? No. Do you read about them in the financial news a lot? Not necessarily. That doesn't mean that they're huge, they're not huge financial entities because they are. And that's my point for today is they're just big, so we need to know about them. And thank you for watching A Healthcare Z.